So hello everyone, welcome to this another video of this channel. I am Abhishek Verma and you are watching a special video today where I am going to tell you about the Infosys Spring Boot Internship. Now this internship as I mentioned is being provided by Infosys and it is completely free of cost online internship which means neither you need to pay anything nor Infosys is going to pay you anything. But at the end of the internship you will be getting an experience plus a certificate which will be helpful in your career. Now without wasting any more time, let's directly get started with the process of how to nominate yourself for the internship and what are the prerequisites for the internship. Just one thing to take here, please watch the complete video, don't skip any part so that you can become eligible for this internship. Now in order to apply for the internship, the very first thing which you need to do is to create an account on the Infosys Spring Boot. So once you will go here, you just need to click on login and believe me this is completely free of cost so even i'm not doing any kind of paid promotion and i'm just trying to help you out guys so here you can go and click on this register now this registration is just a three simple steps here first of all you need to provide your basic details like name id mobile number and password and so that you can create the account you can either choose to register with the help of email id or with the help of mobile number my suggestion is to register using email ID so that later on you can even sign login with the help of your Google IDs. Yeah. Once you have done this, you provide your OTP and then you submit on this. So once you have created your account, you will land to the home page here. So let me directly take you on this. So as you can see, this is how the home page looks like. Now, once you open, you may not see the internship link directly. So this is a banner guys, where currently three things are coming. Now when you open it may be like maybe two things are coming or four things are coming but what you just need to do is you just need to scroll like this on either left or the right side and then you will see something like this telling you about the internship. So click on it. Now here as we can see this is the fifth edition of internship which means before this already four editions have been completed and here if you wish you can check the details of the previous editions and even the experience of the people who have been part of these internships here. So here like we can see some of the experience also. But instead of spending time on that part first what you can do is first of all you can come here and if you wish you can read out all other things I will just tell you the important part. First of all, this internship is for the undergraduate and the postgraduate students. In postgraduate, even irrespective of your years, you can apply here. But if you are a part of undergraduate, then only it is for the third and fourth year students. I mean, if you are first or second year student, believe me, you can wait for one or two years as of now. You still have time. So let's give chance to the third and fourth year students here, to your seniors. Then. In order to apply for this internship, there are basically two important steps. First of all, you need to fill up a nomination form, which needs to be done before 6th of August. Now, please don't close the video and directly start filling the form. Let me tell you the complete details and then you can do so, so that you don't miss any part here. So first of all, you need to fill the form. I will show you how to fill that particular part also. And then you need to complete the prerequisite before 20th of August. Now here, what do I mean by prerequisite? Prerequisite is that here the internship is going to be any of these five technology areas. So in the internship, you may get a project related to AI, Angular, Python, Java and data visualization. The best part is it is your decision which kind of project you want to work with. So like I'm a Java trainer and I'm more interested in Java only. So what I'll do is I will choose the Java tech stack here. So in the form also you need to fill and beside this you need to choose this technology and complete the courses under this technology here. For this you can just click here. Now sometimes it may happen that when you will try to click the cursor is not coming. So just refresh the page and in case if you are getting any kind of issue that also I will tell you with whom you can ask for the support. So once you can go here then you will see all the learning paths. So the AI learning path is here, Angular is there. Python is there, Java is there and data visualization is there. So now let's say I have chosen data or I have chosen the Java here. So what I need to do is I need to complete all these courses. So under Java there will be 10 courses and one certification and believe me this is the minimum number. For AI it is 14 courses and two certifications. Now what you need to do is 
that you need to complete each and every course as well as the certification. The criteria for completing the course is that it may be some reading material or it may be some video. So you need to watch or read it completely. And at the end of every course, you will be getting one self-assessment where there won't be any kind of negative marking. Only MCQ questions are going to be there and you need to clear it with minimum 60% marks. In case you are not able to clear, you can read after every 24 hours. But same thing you need to do for all the courses. Also, here you will be getting a certification. Now for this certification, the prerequisite is that you need to complete those courses, which I just now shown you. So then only this will appear. And for this certification, the passing marks is 75%. Again, it is only MCQ and here there is no negative marking. But the point is that this certification is having a cooling period of 15 days, which means if you will attempt it today and you fail, you can retry only after 15 days. Yes. So please do it carefully. There is no negative marking. So attempt all the questions and it is important in order to be the part of the internship. So this is the important part which you need to do. Now, how will you come to know whether you have completed or not? So let's say I go here on Angular. Now, currently I have not started it. So hence I can see the status as open and you see nothing is available here. But once I will complete this, so let's say I will go to this data science here and here you see, I will click on it. So you can see the status is completed currently. Also, I can download a certificate of completion from here, which if you wish, you can showcase on LinkedIn or to your college and teachers also. So this needs to be done. So I will show you a table here, which will tell you that in which uh, particular stack, how many courses, how many certifications are there, but don't just count the number of courses. It should be of your interest also. It should not happen that here you have chosen AI and later on you say, no, I want to work with Java. That should not happen. Yeah. So that is, that's an important part. Now let's see how to fill up or how to nominate yourself for the internship. For this, you need to click here again, like currently you see, I'm not able to click something here. It is not showing me the correct cursor. So just refresh the page around two, four times, or maybe five times or so, or retry after some time. It may happen. Now you see the cursor is coming for me. So I'll click on this and here you see it will be showing me some page like this. So let's click on this start survey and you see the start date for this is 30th July. Today is 1st of August. So we are not late and the last date is 6th of August. So here let's click on this and say accept and start here. Now here we need to provide the details. So first of all, you provide your name here. So let me give it like Abhishek Verma, the complete name. This name is very important to give. Don't write something like this. Okay. So here like V is small. So don't do it like this because same name will appear later on on your certificate also, which you will be completing. So that needs to be correct. Then give your email ID with which you signed up in this particular Infosys Springboard. So that I'll just provide later on here. I won't show you my personal ID. Then provide your institute name. So I was from UIET and that is in Chandigarh. So I will give it like this. So again, provide the complete details because same thing will appear on your certificate also. So from here, I will later on go to this next part here, give your state. So Chandigarh is a UT. So I'll just do it like this and don't make any spelling mistake here guys. Yeah. Then here, obviously we are interested. That's why we are trying to go for it. So say yes. Then here you need to choose the stack. So that's why first of all, see all the courses here, which all courses are part of which particular stack and choose wisely. You won't get this chance again. It is not possible that you fill up once with the AI. Then you feel that, okay, AI is difficult. Let me try with Angular. You won't get second chance to fill this only one chance. So I'm confident I will go for Java here. Then here you need to provide your degree here, like which education you are pursuing. So I have done BE, BTEC, so I'll choose this in case it is not appearing here, like MSc is not a part of it. So you can choose others and you can provide here. Yeah. Then you provide here your year in which you are currently. So like here it is mentioned that first year students should not apply in the UG, but most probably it is only for third year and fourth year UG students. And in case you are in PG, then it can be any year. So I'll just say here fourth year as of now. Then expected year of graduation. So let me choose this one. Then it is internship is open only for students. So I'm a working professional, but as of now, let me say no. 
I'm a student. And then here, you need to say whether earlier you was part of it or not. So it is only for the fresh candidate. So I will say I wasn't part of it. So this way, you just need to fill this particular form and we just need to do a submit. So I guess I have missed my email ID. So I'll just provide my email ID and submit again. So I have provided my email ID also and I have completed all other details. So let's click on submit and I'm sure. So click on yes. And that's it. You will be getting only this kind of message that your nomination has been submitted. Post this, you won't get any other kind of email or any other kind of confirmation. That's the only confirmation you will be getting. Now after this, what you just need to do is, you again need to go back to that particular thing. Since I have chosen Java here, what I'll do is, I'll go to this particular Java here. You can start with any course. The only thing is, you can't directly start with the certification. You can just start, let's say with this particular course, currently its status is open. So I'll click on start and I will start learning all these courses here. So something like this will appear here. Yeah. So that's guys that how this Infosys Spring Boot you can apply. Just few more things if you are facing any kind of issues here. Let's check what needs to be done. So this I have already provided you. Last day for submission is 6th and you need to complete all the courses and certification by 20th. You don't need to tell anyone. Automatically the status will keep appearing here and it will get recorded in their database. And if you have completed everything, so you will automatically get a mail that you have been chosen for this. Otherwise also you will get some experience, some learning. Yeah. Then here are some rules that it is on the first come first serve basis. So it may happen that currently it is open till 6th of August, but it may end up soon also. So the moment you are watching and completing this video, so please apply for this particular thing. Then, as I mentioned you, you won't be getting any kind of money for this or any kind of payment for this. It is completely for the experience and you will get a chance to work with the working professionals and alumni of the previous batch. Besides this, the registration is not a confirmation. You need to complete the recommended courses as well as the certification, then only you will be eligible. Now in case if you are facing any kind of issue in this, so maybe the link is not working or some course is not getting open. So you can just go here and here you can provide the response. So like few minutes ago, the nomination link was not working, but we just now tried. So it was working. Okay. So you can provide here and it may happen that due to like so many people are trying here yeah so it may happen that due to the pressure due to the traffic something is not working so just retry after some time and you can provide the things here also but please don't worry and complete all the things and all the best and do let me know in the comments if you get selected for this internship all the best to all of you thanks